morning we're outside Portus, which is south of Cartagena, and uh, we're at the bottom of uh, Sierra de Romana, which is on the top of my head now. That's where we're roaming for, so let's go and see what views we can get. After about three, four minutes, you come to uh, these pair of signs here, and there's uh, a gate just to their right. To start the walk, you take the path to the right of that and not the path to the left. So we're going to head up here to the right. Here we go. So far it's uh, quite a pretty walk. It's a decent path. You're undercover a lot, as you can see. Quite a bit of forest around. Now if you're going to the top of a mountain, it's obviously uphill and that bit was a bit of a lung buster that's where we're aiming for behind me onwards and upwards that's a lung bust part two i'm halfway roughly up the climb the climbing total is about 500 meters i guess we're following that path up to the ridge to sierra to the Moira, up there all the way down to the peak up the top and then down that ridge there well, okay, I kind of think that's the plan. Let's see what happens. Well, this is encouraging. I've been climbing uphill for about an hour. I've come up about 375 metres and we come across a sign which tells us that uh, La Muela is in that direction at 1.2 kilometres and it's a height of 546. So that's about 275 metre climb left somewhere in that direction. Always look behind you because behind us now is the protected bay of Cartena. That's the hills with the Cartena guns on. There's a few boats in there protecting themselves before they go into port of Cartena. Well, this is it, we're here. Sierra de la Muela. It's about an hour and a half climb from the bottom. And we've climbed 550 meters. Standing on the pillar I just videoed. In that direction, in the clouds, is uh, the guns of Cartena, and over in that direction is Cartena, which we're now going to start heading to across, I think, the ridge of the Sierra de la Muela. Hey. Well, I've just left the top, and it's, uh, it's all gone a bit eerie. We're uh, right in the clouds. I'm on the edge of the cliff here. Clouds behind me, looking for a way down. So this will be the way down then. Amongst all the rocks, we have a staircase. And we're right in the clouds. I've come down from the top, you can just probably see the set of stairs there. Climb down a bit. But we're still very eerie and walking in the clouds and at times above the clouds so the sun's coming out I have no idea what's down there now below the clouds and then you uh, come along a nice path and you come across this Casa Forest Trail or well, I can only assume it's a Casa Forest Trail and then you follow the path is now nice and wide and easy to follow downwards and just down from the Casa Forest Trail we get our first glimpse out to sea that's Portuce down there and then the sea around to Cartena just there there's a the same distance there that would be Portuce just beyond that uh, hillside there and down there is, yep, that's where the car is, just there. Uh, at least we can see the target. So there we are, that's the end of the walk. Car's just up ahead. Uh, so in summary, 
It's uh, just under three hour circular walk of about nine kilometers, 14,000 steps. Uh, and the climb was 550 meters to the top, which is somewhere there behind me now. Uh, very uh, easy coming back down. Once you're down them green steps, it's a very easy wide path like this all the way for an hour and a half. Very easy to walk down. Going up is a bit more challenging. Obviously it is uphill, climb of 550 meters and it's a bit of a lung buster in about three sections. But quite doable, it's not the worst I've done, but not the easiest. Um, very enjoyable, three hours though. It's the next one. Bye.